Hey there. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about rubber ducks. Anybody that's worked with me for any length of time will eventually come across me with a rubber duck. And there's a reason that rubber ducks are always around me when I'm working professionally. The story goes back quite some time ago, uh, but it's based on something that probably everybody has experienced at one point. Now, imagine you've got a problem and that, that problem, you're mulling it over in your head and you can't seem to find the answer. What will then eventually happen is you will go and start explaining it to either a parent or a teacher or your best friend or your colleague at work or whatever. And in the process of trying to explain the problem that you have, you're, you're vocalizing it and telling everybody what the symptoms are and the background and everything like that. And halfway through the story, all of a sudden you'll be like, aha, it's just come to me what the answer is. And all of a sudden you, you walk off, right? So this is where somebody one day went, well, why do you have to go through the process when you're a programmer of telling your colleague or your boss or whoever what your problem is hoping to get the answer why not just speak to the duck? Speak to the duck, tell the duck, and just so you can see my, my little duck. So this is, this is my home duck. You tell the duck what the problem is and you walk the duck through bit by bit. And of course, you know, the duck will just sit there and listen to you. And then at some point through explaining this to the duck, the answer will come to you and the duck will sit there and, you know, not say anything just like it normally does. But without disturbing anybody else, you now, have got the answer from the duck as to how you fix whatever the problem was you were facing. This is called rubber duck debugging. There's a whole website for rubber duck debugging that goes over the history and stuff. But over the years, I have amassed a not insignificant number of rubber ducks now. Uh, you know, I, I, as I said, I, I have them at the office. They're on my desk. They're in the, uh, the storage boxes at work. I have yellow rubber ducks, thermal rubber ducks, square rubber ducks, that are Minecraft uh, uh, themed, uh, you know, vampire rubber ducks. Like, I've got more rubber ducks than I know what to do with. And the funny thing is people keep giving me more rubber ducks. Yeah. So anyway, that's the story of the rubber duck debugging. Uh, there are uh, other versions of this. I believe that there's a stuffed duck uh, somewhere and I think there may even be a dog that was once involved. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's the story of the, uh, the rubber duck and programming. So if you ever see a programmer sitting at his keyboard talking to a rubber duck, don't disturb them because what they're actually doing is they're explaining a massive enough problem that they've had to get a rubber duck out and they're talking the problem through the rubber duck hoping to get the answer to whatever the problem is that is holding them back. So yeah, never disturb them when they're doing that. Don't look at them funny. Just know in the back of your head that if you see somebody talking to a rubber duck at a computer, they have an issue, they need to go through this process in order to find the solution. <laughs> okay, speak to you soon. Bye.